How many of you clean pots at home? Okay, thank you. Oh, many men are raising their hands as well. Amazing. Thank you, thank you. It's well lovely to see men are also helping at home cleaning pots. You know when you have a sink and you have one pot in the sink and you're trying to clean it, there's not much sound. But when you have more than one pot, two pots, if there's three, God, the more the number of pots, the greater the sound in there, isn't it? So it's amazing. We have we, we need relationships to be happy, but every guy is like a pot. And if there's two pots living in a house, raise your hands if you have ever experienced some sound in the house because of conflicting pots. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Raise your hands if this to add to the two pots, there's two more pots called kids. And then we have two more of those pots who grow up as teenagers, then the sound increases even more. Raise your hand if you have experience of that. Shoo. Oh my God. What do you do? It's relationships that bring you joy and the same relationships that you're constantly fighting. One husband and wife, my God, they had such a fight. They had such a fight and the lady called her mother, Mom! I can't stay with this guy, mom. It's too much. I'm not going to stay with this guy. Mama, I'm coming back home for three weeks, mama. I'm coming back. The mother said, darling, you don't come back. He must get the reaction to what he has done. I'll come to your home for three months. You relax there. You just take it easy, you know. <coughs> I'll come to your home for three months. We will make sure he gets every bit of what you give. As much as we want our relationships to be deep, we also know the challenge is egos. As much as we want to make them the bondings of love, we know the challenge is massive differences of nature. As much as we want to have those true genuine exchanges based on affection, the challenges, the challenges are different opinions. How many of you are married here? Tall wow, that's good. How many of you got a partner of your choice? Okay, good, thank you. How many of you did not get a partner of your choice? You don't have to raise your hands if you don't want to, it's okay. <laughs> did not get a partner of your choice. As if it makes a lot of difference. As if. As if it would make a different lot of difference that you get a partner of your choice or you don't get a partner of your choice. Eventually, you end up staying with each other and more or less the same things happen. You know, I always say this. I say, no one teaches a volcano how to erupt. No one teaches a tsunami how to sway. No one teaches a hurricane how to attack. And no one teaches a man or a woman how to find a partner in marriage. Natural disasters just happen. <laughs> Natural disasters just happen. Now, I, 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 I just have one thing to say. We don't want our relationship to be a disaster. We don't want our relationship to be a disaster. And it's not just a married relationship, any relationship. These principles are true for any relationship. We don't want our marriage to be or our relationship to be a disaster. And if we do not want our relationship to be a disaster, we have to start liking the person to whom we relate to. Happiness is not about getting what you like. Happiness has a lot to do with liking what you get. We are so busy trying to get what we like. We are so busy trying to get what we like that we forget to like what we get. And there's so much to like in people. So much to like in people. They say the person whom you wanted to get married to, whom you loved, you never get. And the person, now you're married to someone and the person whom you really loved and wanted in your life simply remains the password of your email ID. You know, they just look at it and say, ha ha, once upon a time, there was a time when we used to love this person. Now I'm stuck with this. Oh my, my. 
believe me there is a great need that we start liking the person whom we connect to